Good morning, students. Today we're going to go over the first section, section 1.1. Uh, we're going to look at uh, finding the solution of an equation. So an equation means we need to have an equal sign there. Uh, we're going to go through properties of equality. Basically, this is the idea. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I need to do to the other side. So if I add on one side, if I add 2 on one side, I need to add 2 to the other side. If I add a variable, if I add c on one side, I need to add it to the other side. That's all that's the same. If I subtract on one side, minus 5, I have to do it to the other side of the equation. So again, we break that into two equal parts. And so whatever I do to one side, I got to do to the other. I multiply by 4 on one side, multiply by 4 on the other side, or get a variable. I can multiply c by 1, I need to multiply c by the other. Same thing with division. So again, all these properties are the same. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do it to the other side. So we're going to go through and solve an equation. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. Now we have two sides of the equation. Our goal is to try to get x by itself. So in order to get rid of 2, since we're subtracting 2, I need to add 2. Well, if I add 2 on this side, I've got to add 2 on that side. So these 2's would cancel off. 6 plus 2 is 8. Then I go ahead and say, okay, now I need to get rid of this 3, so it's multiplying by 3, so I divide by 3. Okay? And we could just leave it as 8 over 3, so 8 thirds, or you could say 2 and 2 thirds, or you could write as a decimal 2.67. Again, we come to this side, draw our line. I wanted you to draw the line. It's a little bit off. Okay? There. I'll go back. So we want to draw that line in there. And then I add whatever I do, I subtract from this side, then I subtract from the other side. Okay? Then I go ahead, it's uh, divided by one half, so we'd multiply by the reciprocal. So it said multiply by 2. And then 6 times 2 is 12. So I do the same thing. Again, I'm going to go a little bit quicker, draw our line. In order to get rid of that 10, I have to add 10. Then I would divide by 5, so it's multiplying by 5, so the opposite of multiplication is division, so divide by 5. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So again, the line helps you because now I know if I add on this side, I've got to add on that side. If I come here, I draw that line. To get rid of this 9, we'd subtract that 9, and then I jumped ahead there, so 21 minus 9 is 12. And then to get rid of 1 third, I multiply by the reciprocal. So anytime I see fractions, we're just going to multiply by the reciprocal. So 1 over 3 switches to 3 over 1, which is 3. Okay, so again, just a reminder, draw that line. What you do to one side, you got to do to the other side. Fractions, I want to go through a fraction one. So again, I draw my line right through here. I'm just going to put this up. Draw your line down on that equal side. Okay, now to get rid of plus one sixth, then I would subtract one sixth. Well, in order to subtract, I need a common denominator. So I'm right here, this is really one third minus one sixth. Well, I need a common denominator, so I have to multiply that by two. So one third is the same as two sixths. All right, so two times one is two, two times three is six. So Really, 2 6 minus 1 6 would equal 1 6. Then I have a fraction here, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to flip it 3 over 2 times by 3 over 2. So again, just so you know, we're multiplying on this side here 1 6 times 3 halves. So when you multiply, you just multiply straight across. 1 times 3 is 3. 6 times 2 is 12, and then simplify. So I can divide both of those by 3, and so it would simplify. So divide that by 3, divide that by 3. So it would be 1 4. So this is my answer there. So I just want to point that out to you. Uh, we will go through some um, story problems. Okay, the first story problem that we have here is an airplane, de airplane descends an altitude from an altitude of 20,000 feet to 10,000 feet. Descend just means it went down. Okay, engage at the radar traffic control and reads the airplane's altitude drops 1.83 miles. How many feet are in a mile? So we would just see, hey, we have this drop from 20,000 to 10,000. How much is that? Well, that's 10,000 feet. So 
We have that 10,000 feet. So the gain mentioned that the altitude dropped 1.89 miles. So we'd write an equation, okay, using 10,000 m for miles and 1.8939. So our equation would look like this. 1.8939 times m will equal 10,000 feet. So I multiply this by my miles and that will tell me how it is. So the opposite multiplication is division. And when I divide, I get about 5,280. So how many feet are in a mile? There are 5,280 feet in one mile. Other ones, an ostrich that is 108 inches tall, uh, is 108 inches tall, is 20 inches taller than two times the height of the kiwi. What is the height of the kiwi? So you have 108 inches. When it says is, that means equal, is 20 inches taller, that would be more than two times the height of the kiwi. And now we have the equation. Now you draw your line and you would solve from there. So I'm going to erase that. Okay? So is, anytime you see the word is, is equal to. So pay attention to that. Is means equal. More or taller than, that would be an addition. And then you say times, that would be multiplication. Draw your line, subtract 20 on both sides. 108 minus 20 is 88, divide by 4. Uh, an emu that measures 60 inches in height, so 60 inches is, that, remember that means equals. 70 inches less means subtracting right there, then 5 times, again that would be multiplication. So I would go here, 60 inches is 70 inches, less than five times times the height of the kakapo. And now we can solve from there. So when we go through, we'd set it up. It's 70 inches less than, so less than 70. So now we add that 70. Oh, pay attention, 70 inches less. Or it's 70 inches less than that. So make sure it should be 5k minus 70. Then they add the 70, which is 130, and then divide by 5, which would give us 26. So the height of the kakapo is 26 inches. So this is what you're going to be going through, um, is writing uh, or solving an equation. Make sure you draw your line when you solve the equation. Whatever you do to one side, you need to do to the other side. And then when you go through story problems, pay attention to words. So if you see is, means equal. If it says times, that means multiplication. If you see less than, subtraction, more than, increase by, those are all addition, uh, uh, signs for addition, or phrases for addition. Uh, so that is lesson uh, 1.1.